I'd like to welcome Patrick Rogers to the Travelers Championship. He's the world's top-ranked amateur player, junior at Stanford. Your list of achievements are pretty much too long to rattle off. I have a lot of confidence that I can compete with the best players in the world. That's, that's why I'm a professional this week. That's why I decided to leave Stanford. I, I feel like I'm ready. There have always been those whose expectations precede them. It's in the hole all the way, never even a question about it. I guess, hello world, huh? <laughs> wow! Oh, Jordan Spate! Talents easily visible to all. It's really just excitement to be here and have everything be real, playing against the players that I've looked up to and I know are the best players in the world. It's, it's really just kind of been surreal. As he begins his professional career with a sponsor's exemption at the Travelers Championship in Cromwell, Connecticut. I really appreciate the opportunity. It's so special to be here. Oh, it's really yeah. special for us to have you here. 20-year-old Patrick Rogers certainly looks and acts the part of a PGA Tour player. Congrats. Awesome, thanks. Man. Perfect. Press conferences, sponsor commitments. I can't go first now, he beat me. <laughs> and youth clinics. Oh, you Good had a great shot on the green. A small taste of his new life on tour. I'm just really looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to learning the ropes and improving. And I think if I continue to do that and, and stick to what's got me here, then I think I'll have some success. In May, Rogers became a three-time first team All-America at Stanford after winning six times in 2014, tying Tiger Woods for most victories in school history with 11. He also won both the Ben Hogan Award and the Nicholas Award as the top men's collegiate golfer. There's really no better place to prepare for professional golf than here at Stanford. They've developed me as a player and as a person much faster than I could have ever anticipated. It's hard to believe that the three years have come and passed, but I'm very excited for the next chapter and the next step in my career. Roger's dreams of the PGA Tour were born just outside of Indianapolis, Indiana, in the small town of Avon, where he found golf despite living in the basketball-crazed Hoosier State. Here's a kid that, at 14 years old, basically had put together an entire stat book of every single stat on the PGA Tour. He was tracking where his game fit in relationship to that. To see that from a kid that young kind of scratched my head. It was very eye-opening to me. I've known what I've wanted for a long time, and I've always just been very driven to play at the highest level. I've gone through from playing Indianapolis local golf tournaments to statewide tournaments to regional events and national events as a junior player and then moving up to college. We have an amateur, Patrick Rogers, who is 11 under par. Whoa, hello. Look at this kid go. Rogers has competed at three prior PJ Tour events. As an amateur last year at the John Deere Classic, he led midway through the third round, eventually finishing 15th to Jordan Spieth. But it's the here and now he's most concerned with. He will try and use his seven sponsor exemptions this season to earn enough money to secure his tour card for 2015. He has made the cut in each of his first three starts. His highest finish a tie for 45th at the Greenbrier Classic. A decent start for sure, but there's still a long way to go for the next can't miss kid. There's big dreams that I want to accomplish, whether it's earning my PGA Tour card or winning on the PGA Tour. It's really cool to be a professional golfer. This has been my dream for a long time, but my dreams are always about winning golf tournaments. So that's first and foremost for me. 